welcome and thank you for being here today as we celebrate uh, Somali Independence Day in the city of Columbus. Let's give a round of applause for coming together as a community to celebrate what makes Columbus special, uh, which is our, our Somali population. And uh, we just want to thank you all for being here as we take time and make space here at Columbus City Council. We often say that this space, this building, is the people's uh, house. This is the people's house. Um, normally we were inside. I'm, I'm grateful that we're going to be outside today, but this is the place where we come together to make all the important decisions about who we are and what this community means to us. And an important part of that is making sure that all of us feel very comfortable in this space. Um, all the folks that make up the 915,000 folks that represent the city of Columbus and who we are um, are, are, are represented, celebrated in this space. And so we are excited to celebrate Somali Independence Day here at City Council at City Hall. I want to um, welcome and recognize my colleagues first, uh, President Pro Tem, uh, Liz Brown. Would you please recognize President Pro Tem? My colleague, Council Member Nick Bankston. Our State Representative, uh, Dontavius Jaros. And you will hear from Dontavius uh, very shortly, and all of the uh, representatives that will that will speak uh, in the near future. Uh, I want to thank the artists, the speakers, yes. and organizers who put today's event together. Um, I want to. I, I'm proud and excited to be with you today as Council President. 62 years. It's been 62 years. That's how long Somalia has been independent yep. from colonial powers. And tonight. We're here together to celebrate that. The autonomy of the Somali people from the European rule. This past Monday, Council adopted Resolution 0136X-2022, which recognizes July 1st, 2022 as Somali Independence Day in the city of Columbus. This resolution talks about how Central Ohio is home to tens of thousands of Somali Americans. Some say as many as 100,000 right here in our community, and 200 new Somali residents arrive in Columbus each month, 200. And when we talk about the growth of Columbus, when we talk about who we are and what we are becoming, it is because of this community, because of the Somali community, and I'm so proud of that. Somali Americans come to this country to make a better life for themselves and their families, and we are proud that they chose to live in Columbus. Just as Somali families are seeking opportunities in our city, the Somali community is creating new opportunities for everyone to enjoy and benefit from. From new businesses, from nonprofits, and a renewed vibrancy coming out of a COVID pandemic. This Somali Independence Day, we are reminded of the wonderful diversity of this city and how we will contribute to push for a more equitable Columbus. I'm, I'm proud to fight for these values every day at Columbus City Council. And I'm so glad to see the diversity here tonight. So at this point, and, and I will say one more thing. I'm very grateful for the, the broad breadth of Somali leadership in our city. We have amazing Somali businesses. We have amazing uh, Somali, Somali leadership in every aspect of our community, truthfully, except for one and that's elected leadership. And I think it is high time that in the city of Columbus, we have a Somali elected official in down. Columbus, Ohio. And luckily we have a couple Somali leaders running for uh, uh, elected office, and I'll just leave it there because this is a city event. But, um, but yes, uh, representation matters. Representation matters, and I will leave it there. Um, at this point, I'd like to invite up uh, uh, so, so at this point, I'd like to invite up Mr. Abdi Muhammad, and uh, Abdi, uh, and, and present this resolution. This is the resolution that we passed on Monday night, and it says that be it resolved by the city, of, the council of the city of Columbus, that this council does recognize and celebrate July first, twenty twenty-two, as Somali Independence Day, and with the people of Somalia and the Somali Americans here in the city of Columbus. Uh, we celebrate uh, this momentous occasion. Thank you all for attending tonight, and happy Somali Day. Woo! Woo! Thank you, brother. 
At this point, I'd like to invite Hafsla Ahmed up. Hafsla is a local uh, poet who will uh, perform a poet uh, short piece that she that she uh, will present to us this evening. Woo! Hello, my name is Hafsa, and I am a local poet in Columbus, Ohio, and this poem is called The Beauty of Being Somali. I hope you guys can enjoy it. Okay, here I go. I love where I come from. The tales and stories are praiseworthy. My country and my people will forever live with me, channeling through my veins, never surrendering the lustful power they dis desperately destroyed Somalia for. Afkohoya will secure our country and giving Somalia the justice it also de deserves. Afkohoya isn't da'if, it will put your heart in ease. I will never forget my beautiful DNA, the beauty of being Somali. Every day our community grows, a beautiful plant relocated but can never be neglected. I envy those who felt the everyday surroundings of Somalia. I feel as though I've been acquainted with Somalia. Her stories make it sound familiar. Somalia is the definition of peace, the country of Nabat Iyanolol, Nimra and Khair, the air that will cure you and the water that will clean you. Everybody had that natural glow being exposed to Somalia's atmosphere. The sun that won't burn you, my, my skin craves for, the people that won't hurt you and the air that won't pollute you, the water is from the heavens, you can just dance in the rain. The land was stolen and our glory has been broken, but my country will never be forgotten. The nation of poets, they call it often. Our language is so rich, you can't possibly narrow it down to one word. I can't possibly imagine being something else. The culture is enticing and it's inviting. Look at me getting excited, explaining. But I'm sad to see my country like this. We left with the breeze of the leaves, the wind and the trees. But I promise you, you will never see an ocean so blue. The grass is so green and I'm long overdue for a visit or two. We take Somalia's essence with us and we carry it in our souls, never to forget the, play, the part we play in the role in restoring Somalia's glory and returning home, the beauty of being Somali. Thank you very much. Wow, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Hafsa. That, it was a beautiful poem um, and we really appreciate you here uh, joining us to add a little beauty and creativity to this to this day. Um, I, I'm, I'm so excited to be here, um, not only to recognize Independence Day, but to introduce our 2022 Somali Independence Day keynote speaker, Abdi Mohammed. Each and every day, Abdi chooses to pursue his passion and inspires so many Somali youth in Columbus. Abdi Mohammed is a Somali soccer player who plays for MLS Next Pro, Columbus Crew 2, as well as the Somalia national team. Abdi was born in Kenya to Somali parents and was raised here in Columbus. In 2022, he made his international debut after winning Somalia's uh, World Cup qualifiers match against Zimbabwe. Prior to his professional soccer career, Abdi played for the Ohio State University's men's soccer team, Classic Eagles, as a midfielder, and played high school level soccer at Westerville Central, where he was named All State by College Soccer News in 2014. After his junior year at OSU, he transferred to Akron University and later began his professional career at New York City FC. Abdi currently, I think the, the vehicles are really excited about you, Abdi. That's why they're making so much noise. <laughs> Abdi rely, resides in our city um, currently along with his family. And during his time off, Abdi trains and mentors young aspiring athletes. He founded a nonprofit in 2020, and we're going to learn more about that tonight. So with that, Please help me welcome our keynote speaker, Abdi. Good afternoon. Thank you all. Thank you for that introduction, Councilmember Brown. I truly appreciate the work you, Council President, 
Hardin, and all of our members do for our uh, community. Before I begin, uh, I want to provide some additional background about myself and tell you about the beautiful place that it all began for me and my family, the Horn of Africa, Somalia. Something about Somalia most people don't know about is that it's home to some of the most unique cultures, societies in Africa. We're the only, we're the only nation united by one language, one culture, and one religion. You see, Somali people are, are resilient. There are fighters and doers, and we're also innovators and leaders. We appreciate our brothers and sisters in the motherland who continue to fight for a better future. So I moved to the United States in 2004, and like many others, I had one dream. I longed to become a professional soccer player. Fast forward to today, I'm playing for a team I love, and that was made possible through many opportunities, like the Ohio State University men's soccer team, who selected me during my freshman year, and also Akron University, where I started my professional career. Thanks to these opportunities, I am the man I am today. I won't go too much into, into my professional career because Council Member Brown did a great job with her introduction, but I wanna, I wanna say thank you to these opportunities, or I wanna say thanks to these opportunities because I'm now living my dream of uh, playing in, in my hometown of uh, Columbus for the Columbus Crew Organization. If there's one thing I wanna leave with you all today is that we can, all, uh, we can only make our dreams a reality through the support systems and hard work. I was fortunate, I was fortunate to have a strong village. Um, my cousin Omar Mohammed also dreamed of becoming a professional soccer player and his dream became a reality. We share a lot in common, my cousin and I, but one thing we love most is giving back to the youth in, in the Somali community. We came together in 2020 and launched 1826 Academy, 18 being his number, 26 being my jersey number. This gave us a platform to not only display the talent in our Somali community, or this, this gave us a platform to display the talent in our Somali community, not only within Ohio, but across the United States, Canada, and Somalia. We launched, we launched it after seeing the same issue in our uh, community go undressed. We know there's a lot of potential in our community, but individuals oftentimes lack the support to attain their dreams to advance in their careers. Through 1826 Academy, we're able to make a difference in the lives of dozen Somalis by connecting the youth, by connecting youth to resources, mentoring them, and expanding their network. This academy encourages the players to express their talents, understand leadership and teamwork, and leave knowing that 1826 Academy will support all their future endeavors. Our first ever camp was held in Minnesota in January of 2021, and in December of that same year, we traveled halfway across the world to Izmir, Turkey to play two friendly matches with a team of young Somali players from all across the United States. All across the United States, Canada, and a few from Mogadishu, Somalia. For many of them, it was their first time having an experience. And it is because of, these, of those transformational moments that we will continue this work. We must encourage our youth to not only dream big, but fight for a better future for the generations to come after. I can see from today's crowd that we're all capable of helping, helping each other so let's continue to, to aspire and uh, show everybody what true Somali Nima is about. Thank you again, Columbus City Council, for this opportunity. And with that being said, I'd like to present a jersey to uh, Hafsa Ahmed, whose poem I was very moved today. I think we could do better than that. Let's give it up again. Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Listen, so this is supposed to be a celebration. I don't know, maybe, maybe this mic is a little loud, but I don't care. Uh, it's supposed to be a celebration. Let's stand up. Let's, let's, let's celebrate, y'all. Stand up. Let's celebrate. This is a fantastic moment for our city. Let's celebrate. Come on, clap it up. I am so honored to be one, in front of you, uh, not just as an elected official, uh, but also as a colleague, an ally, a co-conspirator, uh, someone who truly believes that our city is better when all of us are moving in the same direction. And so I want to thank uh, the city council for their tremendous partnership in uh, really wanting to make sure that the People's House is a vibrant, culturally diverse space where anyone feels they can walk in there and make sure their voice are heard. Let's give it up for City Council, y'all. So I have two roles tonight. Uh, one is to award the rising youth, uh, I'm going to say it, Rojo? 
Award. Did I do it right? I, I rolled that tongue. That was good, right? Uh, to Yusef uh, Saeed. That is you. Don't, don't get up yet. Don't get up yet. I'll speak a little about you. Uh, so when we think about gun violence as a public health crisis in this city, uh, it's going to take our young people to create the solutions that's going to save lives. And Yusef Saeed has been on the front lines as a young person, someone who seen it in real time, who ex may have experienced it and said that enough is enough. He really believed and believes that we can save lives by elevating our young people, their voices, and speaking with one voice that we can do something different for this city. And so I am humbly honored to be given the opportunity uh, to present the Rising Youth Rohot Award to Youssef Saeed and his amazing championship of making sure that we're saving lives in this city. Let's give it up for this young man right here. Now, this is not on the program. Just stay here. This is not on the program, uh, but, you know, as state representative of the 25th House District, I'm also going to do a state commendation to talk about the work that you have done uh, in our city and as a true champion for our state. And so, again, let's give it up for him. Give him a, a, a word, a minute or two to say a couple of things. Thank you, State Rep. Dontavius Geralds. Um, but um, good evening, everyone. My name is Yusuf Forsame. I am incredibly honored to be um, receiving this award tonight. When I first started this work, I didn't imagine it would go this far. It took a long time for me to realize how important it is to stand together as a community and fight for what you believe in. I was never the person to want to participate in these things, nor did I have much interest in community work at all. Like most, like most people my age, <laughs> I was absorbed in a small bubble of my own friends and family. However, that was all soon to change. On December 23rd, 2020, my father passed away due to hospital neglect. An immigrant African man had his health significantly decline due to the neg negligence of the nursing staff throughout his entire visit. It took me some time to even realize the type of mental and physical neglect he was facing. And when he finally passed away after suffering alone in the hospital during the height of COVID, something since sparked within me to never want something like this to happen to anyone around me, let alone ever again. I was only 18 years old at the time and had just graduated high school. During that time, the support from my community gave me a lot of strength. I was able to meet families who went through similar situations and band together to raise awareness and call out such an injustice. This incident was huge for me and changed the course of my life. Little did I know what I was doing for my father would lead me into, into the direction of helping my community with the issues they face every day. By educating people on the effects of things like drug abuse, gun violence, mental health, and other prevalent issues within Columbus youth, I soon then started a group with amazing people called the Muslim Circle. This small group of people, some of whom have been with me since the very first protest we organized for my father, and have stayed with me until today, are continuously ready and willing to go after any project event or initiative we believe needs to be done. I, I want to give a quick shout out to State Rep Dontavius Geralds, President Hardin, and the rest of City Council for hosting this event to celebrate the Somali people. I'd like to also thank Hafid, Hamza, Bilal, Abdurrahman, Nasreen, Ilhan, Fatimina, Suban, and my uncle Burhan Ahmed for all of his efforts lifting up the youth. I am so grateful to God who nothing can be done without then to my entire team in the Muslim Circle, to my amazing family who have been a part of this from the start, to my mentors who helped guide me along the way in this journey, and to my amazing community and council members who I stand before today, who have given me the support and encouragement needed to continue this work. This is only the beginning, and with everyone's efforts, we can work together to build the foundation needed to uplift the rising youth of tomorrow. Thank you.
Fantastic job. Wow. Let's give it up for one more time for him. You know, uh, you know I feel like they're coming after our jobs, y'all. <laughs> it is, uh, I mean, truly an honor and a privilege uh, to know you, uh, Saeed Youssef, um, to have uh, heard about all the work you've done and the future that you are going to bring to this city in terms of building it for the better, not just for your family, but for families all across this city. And so thank you for the work that you do. Um, I stand before you today uh, thinking about two years ago when we set out on illuminating the city. And we did it alongside Council President Hardin and the city council. We worked collaboratively. I need, I need to give me one of those, y'all. I promise I need to give me one. But we worked collaboratively to create space where we can recognize one of the fastest growing communities in the city and in the Central Ohio region. And it wasn't just city council, it wasn't just the state house, but there are organizations and companies all across this city that also want to uplift the Somali culture and community. One is in particular is Easton. If you walk into Easton uh, starting on the first, it will be lit up blue in dedication to uplifting Somali culture and history. When I think about where do we go from here, the reality is we have a lot of issues that we face. We talked about gun violence being a public health crisis. Yesterday, Councilwoman Shayla Favor talked about housing and the crisis we have in this city. We talked about food shortages. We talk about lack of opportunity in jobs. We talk about a lot of the issues that impact families all across cultural perspectives. But let me say something. I have hope because to the young people that are sitting out there, you are the champions for how we're gonna move this city forward. Your energy, your dedication, your drive, not just for elected office, if that's what you, you choose, but just for activism, for building a better Columbus and a better state. You are the reason why this city is a beacon for Ohio and the country. So, 62 years, 62 years, we will be celebrating. I am humbly honored to stand with you today, to celebrate with you, to uplift the stories, the community, as we continue to fight to make this city and this state the best it can be for all of us. And so I'm so excited to now uh, bring up our musical performance uh, from Nipka Hillock. I want to make sure I said that right. Um, going to do it? Oh, no, no. Okay. Well, I'm going to go sit down. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Okay. So right now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to play the Somali national anthem, and then afterwards. We're going, to, we're going to close out with a prayer from the one and only, you got to clap it up for him, the one and only, uh, Sheikh Mukhtar. You know, we got to say the best for last. We do. We got to say the best for last. Uh, but I'm so excited uh, to be here with you, and happy Somali Independence Day, y'all. Thank y'all.
وعلى اله واصحابه ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته دمان دتك وحوي سوق يمد ماشن امده وحوي كسو قيب غشي سند غورده لحدن الى لبات حرنمدا وحوي امده الصوماليات وما سنتين قبل اي وحوي رقب دمان انت كذب الهي سبحانه وتعالى وحن كبرينا امدنا وحوي انو مديو امدي وحي وحكو نقطا من نمو امدنا هذا الله نو الله اما ودن كان ودن كان لبات او كنو الله امريكن كا وحاود سوق يا شيء ومن نمو إن كان إن هو هالقيسة وهالكاجيس كأفريكا دجن يا أنت سو قبيلي أنت سو دول دول أنا قناي تاسينا واحد كان تي دبتو ينفر بدن يدت كانوا إن الملك استوى دبتو يكلا كل مان وحنو مدة سومالية الملك استوى شوكتوا أن إلهي سبحانه وتعالى أول رجيني إن إن أي من نقطه هذاي تاي وحوي يان أود دودا هذاي تاي تلا دودا هذاي تاي وحوي يان دقاله دودا هذاي تاي مدحني مدا دودا كل هذاي تاي دل كودا ومدة الصومالية وحاوية هاي سرعة دو وحاوية وحكا ستور لباتان إلهي سبحانه وتعالى هكا قبتو أيقنا كوي سعل وحاوية ولا لا هن نقضان محايا لي دين باكا دحيسا دل باكا دحيا جنسيات با وحاوية كا دحيسا ودنني باكا دحيسا وحيابها ومدو كومي دوبان ودن لقا كا دحيسا أفر شيء ودتكو أي كومي دوبان انتو با وحاوية وان هاي سنة هداي تاهي وحاوية دل كي نومي ده هداي تاهي دين تي نومي ده هداي تاهي لقا دي نو وحاوية مي إن تبا وحاوة وينو هاي سنة كوي قرت إلهي سبحانه وتعالى نقدقو جزاكم الله خيرا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Well, thank you all so much again for being a part of this celebration today and um, I, I really think um, that Dontavius, uh, that Representative Gerald's, oops, <laughs> that Representative Gerald's um, said it best when he talked about young people and the future of our city. So let's let that be what we sit with here tonight in addition to celebrating Somalia and Somali independence. Let, let's let that notion of the young people leading the way being what sits with us tonight, what we leave here with. Um, and thank you all again so much. تقول الله ما سنت هاي وحنا نلقى السكون نبيد مناسبة لقوم مع موسى يو سنة جوردي لحدن يا لبعض إكسو وركتي حر نبيد يجوب نبيد جمهورية الصومالية نقولها دق ماذا أيام مرتجلية هل كان قد عاش شيء ده عارك يسد وحويان وحرنت قولها دق ماذا كولومبس أوهايو سومالي يو هاي سوتي ميد مامر كغلا ها دجمدا يو دات كلو وكيل اه مدحكا دجمدا وحانا كوسي ني ان كوما موس نو سند جوردي لحدن يلاباتانات لحدن يلابات ان يراهدو اكسو ريكتي ان هرمدي سوماليا دات كواد اي نوفر هاسي هين مراسبات ان اكيب كاهدان غارهان ان اجاد يادا يهميد غار يقول هاي ملكستو او يوغا سومالي دا نوحانو درينا هامبليو يو بوغادين كو آدن مناسبة دان لحدن يالباد حرن مدي الصوماليا جالية دا الصومالي دا دقمدن كلمبس سيدا آدود اوكتيهين و جالية دا لباد اي قوبة دان ودن كمرايكن كا يو قويق امريكا با ناد اي اي اوغا سوقيب قلين قار بدن او كمي دا مركز سيدا سان هالكان السوقون ميد آدوغونا اي ناد قيب كا هاتا اي تي في كا قارن كا آد اي آن نغوفر حسن هاي وانا ما حسن تاك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مقعي وعم حمد عبد وليح قال نحوش وحان ما انت تكوي ايمان ناي حرية دا صومالية مالي مونكتن وعي وان فرح سنة هاي نمد ينولل با صوماليا كو رجيني ناي ان شاء الله صوماليا حان نولاتو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مقعي قوى يوسف سعيد عبد يوسف ما انت حفل الصوماليا اندبندنس داي وحان كصوت دحقلني كلام بالسيدي كانسل صوماليا دن دفتك الصوماليا دن حمبليو عن كصوت صلامي I work for the Muslim Circle با group year عن اقصى حيبة هيقا وحان كشقين عن gun violence mental health وحالها هاس so ان شاء الله I want to see more of you guys so صوت دوادا 
السلام عليكم مقعيق وانيس ليبان وحان كشقيا كلام السيدي كانسو وحان كمت اهي دتك حفرد عن سودي عري وحفرد مهيم ما شاء الله سمالي هانو لاتو سو مقعي كوثر مستوى دتك قبن قابضا كمت اها ان ما شاء الله صفي عنا اسو اسو لعضي حفلة دا دت بضنا كسو قيب قلي اولموست الى اي دي ان مور بيبولا كسو قيب قلي دار تنوينا اجي دان وقرقا قو امدا لوغو قارو ان سيدي كولومبوس اسو مالي دل وقياس الى سيدتن الى لحظن الى سيدتن تنا إذا جين هين مركو حن ليها سومالي هاب إندي بنت لي لحد إن يلا وصلنا كهرة حرية قاعدني أنا نروح بدن وأنت إن سيفتي هي بيس هي برسبار تكسو قارني هرها لاس السعودة إن شاء الله هر مر بأور تشينيا دل كي جهايو هاد سومالي دو قربها هاد بعد دقيقة سو حرجيني أسيد أسو كلدك سومالي جوجا إنت عقبنا كبدا نسي قبطان إن شاء الله إن من إلا ويدونه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد محدث كلي لا يدرتي صار سوي معني حفلة دي اللي بنشيك السيري في كلام بصورن تي هاد حفلة ولد آدي مهيم هو، أو إن مدعى كسر شقيني إن في يرس وحنا نربنا إن شاء الله تعالى نيو جنريشن ليرشيب كم عناد وحواي ضد كير أنا أود سانجرينو أنا يليد نقضان إيه جاميان المجال هذا رنتي وأنا واحد يا الله غفره وأنا أجد أن أي دخلق أي توري وحب لعبنا اللومينيشن سريجا أو لايت كو بي بلو أو إيستن مولك وحنا كنا نوشى قدرت كسر ماله بقى أنا وقتان وحن إذا في جنريشن كده ما عربنا أنا إنفست قريني أو وقتنا قليني مهمة دنا إيه تاج جنريشن كان عربنا أنا بتبعد إنه أو ليدرز سري ووجد إنه محاي سكوي من ملاحظة وده كورنا اعتمادي وأنا مهم وايد تك هاي يرى أنا عم رنتي إن برمود قريني إنه أو إنه شقيان أو ليدرز كأن مع أي وضان إيه تك إنكورج قريان وجيل كده ما إيه وده كان إن إن حل إيه وحجر مركب وحن ربنا كنا أوشة تمارو حد بريتو حد عدونه raising the flag سيد هسكو دعاي عالم كسماع لغة دار دونا وأنا أرين أد مهم هو إن أنا كان الدارو وقت هب إندبندنس كان وياي وأنا حان قفر حسنو إن أنا قفر حنا ربانتين بس كسمارة إنه بهين إن أي مركز كشقيان سمارة اللي مدو من مدو إن كشقيان وأنا حان هرمون كجاري كرنو هذا العيال كان ببادلين وأنا لغش شقيين وجنس كده ما لغش شقيين وحد عدون إن ضد بدن دبتوين هالجارت بس كحان ربنا إن شاء الله تعالى جيل كدم ب إن أنا إنفست جرينو إسبين سينو أيوة حجاميان أو أنترين جرينو وأنا وح هذه هذا وفر حسنا وذا أركي سان المجال هذا ده كشرحين ما أنتوا أيوة وعلى رأيان واحد اللي سير بسنت ما مركب هو رئيسي وحسب الدمورات يحتاج إن دورس جري واحد إنه حكيني أنا رنتي أنا تصنع ده كير أنا صوت لفت جرينو وأنا وح وفره وحان ربع أنا هنقل قومة هنعليو بعد التيفي قد تيجي قصانا سمع التيفي أو رنتي وحوي من كقبط مجالدان أو رنتي أوبا هنا رشقينه تاجرنا والتيفي كلية مجالدان نوجو أو رنتي وحبنا كقبط من دوبه حبنا كسمينا سمع هذا رشقي مرك هلا رشقي وهلا تاجره الإلكشن على صعود هلا صبحه جولاي سكس هلا عودي إن شاء الله تعالى أرد الإلكشن وحبلاونا جولاي سكس وما سنتين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مقعي وعبد هذا إلهي بام هلا جربت النقص هنا هل كان شوقنه هنا نود بالدقة إنه لحظاً يلا بقولي دي حرية الصومالية وحن شو نعم بقولها كولومبوس وهاي وحن كفر حسن هاي أنا أدب بالدقنا معلمي حرية الصومالية رنتي وحن مش عارفين أنه نتوسنا يسا سيد الدكتور الصومالية ملك السؤال شو كان وقبة هني من نمو هي وناق هي أنا كفر حن معلمي حرية إلهي بقول حكذا جاي دكتور هو نصيب كبدنا دونك وادد سكلو خذا وادد سكودينا وأدد سكوافة وأدد إلهي كبر يقولك أدونك وقفي عن وحلو بعيا مركب ملك استوى تشوجان حرية إلهي سيء يقولك في عنا وكير ساقي إنه كفى إذا استن النجا ملك استوى عن شو نجا ما هيس خبصنا هنا ودن كنا نجا واتش الله يدد كنا نجا واتش الله ومدينة هنا وأنت عنا وأنا كفر عشان أقلبت أنا قريب كه هذا حفلة دم قروح ده بدن الوقف أنا مقالم مقالة كلام بس هاي. السلام عليكم مقالة جوا حفص أحمد ما أنت وحواي سومالي إندبندنس تي إيفنت أكسر قريب كلي سومالي بدن أكو إيمال قبلنا آخري هم باليو سومالي وين وأدي أدا أكو فرح سنة ما أنت إيفنت كانت جزاك الله خير. ما أنت وحك قريب كلي سومالي إندبندنس تي هير إن كولومبس أوهايو. I'm very proud to be to be Somali and a professional soccer player representing my people. And uh, I hope to continue to inspire the youth, inshallah.